I have some pretty cool new Dollar Tree finds to share with you and some easy DIYs. So let's get right into this. Look at all these awesome new Dollar Tree finds. I can't wait to show them to you, test them out with you and DIY them with you. So let's go. All right, so let's start with this right here. I showed you this in the opening. It is a honeycomb shaped silicone mold and Dollar Tree is marketing it as a ice cube tray. So let's go test it out. So I just put regular water in here, let it sit overnight so it could freeze all the way. And you can see these molds are manipulated so easily so you can easily pop these ice cubes out. My husband mentioned that this would be a great mold to even put some lemon water in or something like that so you could make your, your water a little bit more flavored. Um, but not quite light nugget ice, but still really fun, fancy. And if you wanna take your iced coffees up a notch, this would be a way to do it. So these do make great ice cubes, but because it's silicone, you can craft with it too. This would be great to make little mini candles with candle wax. You could use it for a soap mold and you can even use it for epoxy. All right, let's stick with the kitchen section. I have a couple new finds in there as well. We know Dollar Tree carries wood spoons. That's no secret, but I've never seen these fancy ones before. It's kind of a spoon and a fork. Is it a spork? I don't know but it's a fancier wood spoon. It'd be great if you bought two of these and then used it for salads, but another cute little inexpensive find you can use for your kitchen. Also love this. We are obsessed with cantaloupe and watermelon during the summertime. This is a two in one melon tool. So it's got a big scoop on one end and then the fancy melon baller on the other end. And just another great kitchen tool gadget to add to your kitchen. This can be one of the nuisances of summertime are fruit flies. So this is new to the Dollar Tree. I have not seen this before. It is a fruit fly trap and it has a lid and a funnel inside of it and the flies will fly down into the bottom there and it gets stuck and not be able to fly back out and it just says you add fruit to the inside there. Leave it on your countertop to catch those pesky fruit flies. So this next item I was actually on the hunt for. So I know how you feel. A lot of times you watch these videos and you have to go out on the hunt for items that you see in these videos. Well, I actually saw these on Instagram. I saw these from another influencer. I will put her Instagram handle down below for you so you can go see more Dollar Tree finds. But if you wanna see my Dollar Tree finds, you definitely wanna follow me on Instagram. You can find me at The Daily DIYer. And what am I talking about? Well, these are the silicone straw covers. So Stanley cups are so very popular right now. And these you can get on Amazon, but they are much more pricey. So obviously this is a set of six for only $1.25, really cute silicone straw covers. Just a fun little thing you can add to your Stanley cups, give as gifts or use yourself, which is what I'm gonna do. Love, obviously, the rainbow one. And a big shout out to my son, who is the one that actually found these. He saw them on a clip strip and he showed them to me. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's one of my things I've been looking for. So big props to my son for finding this one. All three of my kids love shopping at Dollar Tree too. And I actually really enjoy spending time with them. Shopping at Dollar Tree, I love seeing them find things that they love, new things that they get excited about, things that they can't live without. But I know as a mom, these times are fleeting. My oldest just finished her first year of college. My middle daughter, she just had her high school graduation and she's moving off to college here in a couple months. And my youngest, he just had his last day of elementary school and is moving on to junior high in the fall. It is all just really bittersweet for me right now. I am so proud of all of them. However, I can't help but get a little bit emotional and sad about the idea of my kids growing up. So it has me struggling a little bit right now. So thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. The therapist that I found through BetterHelp has been a great way for me to be able to talk out all of these happy and sad feelings that I have all at the same time.
It's been a way for me to be able to cope with all of these big changes. And no matter what phase of life you are in, BetterHelp can help connect you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen to you and give you unbiased advice. And it's as easy as going to their website. You can use my link, betterhelp.com slash daily DIY. You just answer a few questions and they will match you with a professional who has years of experience with helping people with struggles just like yours. And usually you're matched within 48 hours so you can get started fast. They've also made it so, so easy. You can use your computer, you can use your phone. They have lots of different options from phone calls to chats to messaging. Whichever way is most comfortable for you, in that moment you get to choose. And for me, I've pretty much used all of them. It just depends on what's going on, what's convenient for me. I just really appreciate that they have all of those different options. Let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist that can support you all from the comforts of your own home. Just visit betterhelp.com slash daily DIY, or you can select the daily DIY or during sign up to enjoy a special discount off your first month. I am so glad I found BetterHelp and have an amazing therapist. If you need someone to talk to or you're struggling, please click the link that I'll have down in the description box below. Check out BetterHelp and take care of yourselves, DIY friends. You are important, your mental health is important, and it's not to be overlooked. Now let's get into another awesome Dollar Tree find and a pretty cool DIY. I love when I find new candle holders at Dollar Tree. It's just something you can really get creative with. We've seen the traditional black ones, which are really, really pretty. And if you spray paint them gold, they are gorgeous too, which I've done in the past. But these new ones, we're gonna do some new DIYs with. And up first are these black ones. These are so cute by themselves. You could plop a candle on there, be done, and they are cute. But let's take them up a notch using these plastic containers that I found in the bathroom section at Dollar Tree. Take a little bit of hot glue, put it on one of the ends of your candle holder, and put the container on top without the lid. And you can do that with as many as you want. I just grabbed two so we could double up here and then put a candle in there. And they become kind of like a hurricane glass candle holder. Adds a little bit of height to them. You could even put some sand in the bottom of there, decorative rocks in there, whatever kind of matches your mood, your style. These look very, very classy, very high end, takes a minute to make, and they're only $2.50 each. So this DIY with these cute Dollar Tree candlesticks is literally going to take you like one minute tops. And all you have to do is take a flower. We're going to cut it down. Some heavy duty scissors or wire cutters helps here. Snip the, the head of the flower off, but leave a little bit of the stem on there. We're then going to take some hot glue. I'm going to add some to the stem and we're going to stick it right down into the top instead of a candle and then it looks like a flower all right so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of work to this i need to cut this off a little bit more but just as easy as that we're gonna cut cut it down smaller add some hot glue <laughs> and really attach it onto this candlestick again still even having to do some adjustments that easy. We're going to let that glue sit for a second and then I'll show you the other one put together and use them as a little set. If you have any parties coming up, you definitely want to head to Dollar Tree and check out their party section. They have some new dessert serving things that I thought I would show you that could also be DIY items. So the first one are these mini stimulus glasses. So they look like little mini wine glasses. So I'm thinking maybe a fun wine tasting. You could set these out and have them prepared and ready to go when your guests arrive, this little wine tasting station or you could use them as little bud faces. How cute would this be lined up down the center of a table or use them as party favors? That's honey in the background. She decided to join me today. She must see a bunny or a squirrel in the backyard. Let me go let her out so she can have her fun. <laughs> you wanna go outside? Here, 
Can we see a bunny out there? Do we need to go get it? Oh, a squirrel. Oh, we see a squirrel. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Set. Go. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh! All the cicadas. Oh. All the cicadas. Oh, she chased it up the tree. Oh! You see the cicadas flying around? Oh my gosh. They are so bad. Oh! Don't come in. All right. So luckily, honey likes the cicadas, but... <laughs> Not for me. You don't need cicadas in here. So anyway, there's the bud vases. The other party item that I found are these mini round bowls. So I have a DIY I want to share with you, but it's going to be coming up in another video. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can come back and see some more DIYs that I have planned in the future. This one's going to be cute though. So hang tight for that. Another item I found are these great, what are they called? Candy jars with lids. Again, these are great for parties and things like that, but they're also great for storage and organization. And I have an organization video coming up for you soon too, so make sure you come back and you don't wanna miss that one and so you can see what I do with these guys. But another great affordable Dollar Tree find, only $1.25 for two of them. So speaking of cicadas, Ew, I don't know if these are any help for cicadas or not, but mosquitoes are on the same wavelength of the peskiness of these cicadas. And Dollar Tree has these mosquito repelling coils. It's a pack of four. You put them on a little metal stand and you light them and it will emanate something that mosquitoes don't like so that they stay away from where you're sitting. Or I also found these insect repellent wipes. Yeah, it says lasts up to two hours. So this isn't something that's gonna last a long time. Um, I actually have in the past put dryer sheets in my pockets to keep the insects away. If you have better ideas of how to keep the mosquitoes away or from biting, can you please leave those ideas down in the comments below for me? And for all of us so we can see some ideas. That's just one of the things here in the Midwest we have a whole lot of. So I actually showed this to you recently. It is called Space Tape, or I actually purchased some off Amazon. It was called Alien Tape for a lot more. So this is a great deal and find Space Tape. It says there is three feet on a roll, but it's pretty cool. It is waterproof. It's for indoors and outdoors. You can cut it down to size and you can use it for most surfaces. It says leather, wood, concrete, marble, and more. And what did I use it for recently? I used it to tape down our outdoor rug. So it's pretty much just like a specialty double-sided tape. You stick it on, peel off the plastic backing, and it's ready to go. I've had this on our rug for several weeks now and it's held up really good. So this was a fun find. When I was in high school, especially, but like junior high too, I used to put my hair up in a really high ponytail and just tie ribbon and make a bow. So like just regular ribbon tie, tied a bow in my hair. And now it's so popular right now to get these little bows with the clips in the back and put your hair in a half pony and hang them off your half pony. And they have these at Dollar Tree. Obviously it'd be easy just to tie a knot with some ribbon, but I love the fabric on this. It's kind of a rippled ribbed fabric with a little bit of sheen to it. So very, very cute. They have these for springtime with the Eastery kind of stuff, but they still have them out or check the regular hair accessories area for these. An expensive way to just jump onto a trend. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this. So I thought these were really, really cute and functional too. Obviously a regular shower poof or some people I think call them loofahs. Dollar Tree calls them a loofah, but they have these extra decorative pom-pom balls on the edges. I think it's cute. This purple color is one of my absolute favorite colors right now, so I grabbed it. But I think the pom-poms -pom would actually be great for some extra scrubbing. So along the same lines as the hair and the bath, this was a cute, cute find. They are towel scrunchies. So my girls have a couple of these and they are scrunchies that you kind of wrap your hair up and put it into a bun and then put the scrunchie on and it helps absorb the moisture and help dry your hair. 
So let's stick with the self-care theme right now. I found some great items I wanted to share with you, including this bath salt. I love, I pretty much always put bath salt in my baths and this just looked really fancy and high end, like the label and the packaging every, and everything. So a cute idea for maybe a gift idea or put it in a gift basket. They also had a really, really pretty bath bomb. So they're not round, they're square and they kind of have the dried florals in the top so they look really really fancy and they don't cost eight nine ten dollars a piece like some stores dollar 25 i got the lavender one yeah smells so good so this and this together perfection we're gonna try this out here in just a second i am sure you have seen little um foot and hand masks where it's a thing you put your hand in and then leave it on and it helps moisturize and replenish your skin and everything well this one says that it's actually touch screen capable i know right i've never seen that before where you can put your hand masks on and then still use your phone so i'm filming with my phone right phone right now so i'm gonna have my husband help me with this one How do I do it? What is this? Cut it. Okay. I feel like I should have taken my jewelry off. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Squishy. So they're like plasticky on the outside. Well, let's see if they work with the phone. <gasps> they work with the phone! Look at that! All right, so pretty cool, right? I mean, worth $1.25 to give that a try. The other item I want to try with you is this. It is cannot see because I don't have my glasses on color changing tinted lip balm so again this is an item that I saw thanks to my daughters um, and it is a clear lip balm and when you put it on it actually changes and it's supposed to help match to your skin tone color so I thought we would try this out together look look at that it's got a little flower in it too still fun to try right let's give it a go <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so funny. Mm -hmm. Pretty cute! It's not a bad color. It's pretty cool too that it starts clear and then you get a little bit of a lip tint on there. Definitely worth $1.25, especially if you have little ones. That would be cute to have them be able to play with too or teens, or moms, or grandmas, or anybody. Bounce a little color on their lip. And it's hydrating too. All right, time for another DIY, this home item mirror. You can kind of see yourselves in the mirror. <laughs> My phone, I guess. We're gonna take this up a little notch. Let me show you an easy DIY with this one. All right, so we're going to start by flipping this mirror upside down and there are five screws in the back. You'll just take those right off. There's a backing and the mirror. It'll all just slide right out. Just be careful. Obviously, it's a mirror and it's glass. So you want to be careful with that. We're going to set that to the side and then we're going to also grab one of these wall shelf sets from Dollar Tree, the smaller one. It comes with two pieces of wood. We're going to mark the center of one of those and cut this in half. I just used a regular handsaw from that. And then there are holes in this wood so I'm using some Dollar Tree spackling to fill those holes up. 
Once that's dry, you'll sand it down smooth. And then we're gonna come in with some of these Dollar Tree command style hooks. I'm using two of them. We're actually gonna cut off the bottom. There's an extra piece of plastic that makes these removable. You don't want that on there. Then peel off the plastic backing and stick it onto the front of just one of those pieces of wood. I saw this spray paint on Instagram. It is from Walmart. It's in the color down to earth. And I saw that it makes your projects look kind of like that rattan boho style. So I braved the cicadas for you guys, went outside and gave all of these pieces two or three coats, front and back sides to make sure they were completely covered, let it dry, brought it back inside. And now we can start putting this decorative shelf together. So I had the idea and I had this leftover cane material from another project and it was actually the perfect size and I thought it'd be really, really cute to put on the inside of this mirrored frame. However, when you flip it over to the back side, you can see there's not a whole lot of flat spots to really adhere it onto. And a lot of times you wanna staple cane in place because it can kind of fold up. So I wasn't really able to do that. So I just went ahead and put back the mirror into this frame and put the backing back on with those screws. And we're just gonna turn this into a mirrored shelf instead, which is still super cute. And now to put this shelf together, we're gonna use a combination of E6000 and hot glue. The E6000 is going to be much more sturdy for us, but the hot glue will dry more quickly so we can get this project put together. Same thing with the mirror, and we are going to put all three of these pieces stacked on top of each other. So now we have a shelf and we also have some hanging spots on the bottom and the mirror attached to the top. To add some more stability, I just grabbed out three popsicle sticks and added them to the back of the mirror and to that shelf. So it all just stays together for us as that E6000 glue is drying. And then here it is. Once it's all completely dried, you can hang it up on your wall, use it for decorative purposes, or this is the idea that I had with the cane was to be able to put your earrings onto it and use it for your jewelry and hang your necklaces and bracelets off the bottom. But this would be great in an entryway. You can put your keys on it, hang your sunglasses on it, have the mirror so you can check yourself before you walk out the door, but really, really pretty. Love that boho style and feel. Now that we've made our home look cute, let's make it smell cute too. Are these bottles just fancy looking? I feel like this is something you would find in, I don't know, like Kirkland's. Doesn't it look like a Kirkland's kind of thing? Definitely not something you would think you would find in Dollar Tree. So one is Island Breeze and the other one is Island Vibe perfect sense for the summertime right now. So I'm gonna go test these out on our living room. Island Breeze was more my favorite of the two. The other one kind of smelled like gardenia. That's not my favorite. This one has more of a clean smell and you can see it also has this locking lid, which I thought was a nice little touch to this. The thing about Dollar Tree is it doesn't have a very concentrated scent. So you do have to use quite a bit more than you probably would a name brand, but gives you a really pretty scent for your room. So still recommend it. How awesome is this? I mean, I know it's just sweet anyway to give flowers as a gift, but if you really wanna like make your flowers stand out and look even more fancy, it's a flower gift bag. Come on right now. So it's got this that you would take off just to kind of show, but when, when you take it off or you fold it down, you put your flowers in there and they stick out the top. And then you have the little gift bag handles on there. So you could carry your flowers. <gasps> I love this. I seriously love this. What a way to make something special even more special. This is the only Dollar Tree Plus section item I wanna throw in here today. I could not pass it up. It is a bubble blaster for $5. Not only was it super fun for my son, but Honey loves bubbles too. So we got a two for one deal, a toy for the kid, a toy for the dog. And as you can see, they are both just super enjoying themselves. And then speaking of dogs, look at this hilarious find. I laughed in the store when I saw it because I thought it was so funny, but it is so cute. It's a passenger car window cling. So you put it in your passenger window and it looks like a dog is sitting in your passenger seat. 
These are cool. These are new. I can't wait to DIY with them. One is a chalkboard wallpaper. The other one is a dry erase wallpaper. You can get multiples of these and line them up, stack them on top of each other, cut them up. I have some, I have a DIY or two I wanna do with these. So this is another item I'm gonna share for a upcoming video. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe, hit the bell notification as I share brand new videos here every single week. Let me know which one of these items you're gonna be hunting for at your Dollar Tree down in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up button. I'll have more budget-friendly Dollar Tree DIY videos popping up on your screen you don't wanna miss. So click one of those and I will see you over there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.